Okay guys, welcome back. Um, I'm going to show you, um, in the last video I showed you how to, to do the universal room. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I am still not totally okay from having been sick. I mean, I don't feel bad, but my voice isn't good yet. <clears throat> and my... I feel okay, but gosh. Okay, so this is a little, excuse me, now I'm going to yawn. This is a little bed I made, and it was for, I want to say, my beach bungalow, and I have a comforter that matches this pillow, and I'll show you um, this. I don't remember. This was just a piece of fabric. And I made a sheet set of a piece of foam and then a very basic bed. I mean, this was a bed that I threw together in no time flat. And when you look at it, it's like, yeah, okay, it's, it's some wood glued together. But then you start putting on all of your extras should have taken that up a little more but anyhow you put on all your extras and look it becomes this cute little bed and then you add um, I have bedside tables here these I got somewhere else and there was two of them just a second ago. Huh. Okay, so we'll put maybe this. Okay, and then we add, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe we have a fireplace. Maybe not. We have a dressing table. A dressing table over here. And there was a I have chairs somewhere. I have a chair that I could have slid in here, but not with me. But anyhow, you get the idea. So now we have already a bedroom. You couple that with some photos on the walls. Put some photos here on the walls. Um, maybe, you know, a window here with a curtain. So it doesn't take long to dress it up. So let's put in a different bed um, we're gonna upsize we're gonna make a larger bed um, this is again now I did this is just a piece of fabric stuffed with some cotton and I did glue this down here but again it's just it's a it's a fake mattress with a homemade comforter and this is some wood that I got from Hobby Lobby and some dowels and these are like pegs like like pegs like you would stick into something and maybe hang a dish towel on or what have you and all of that glued together. These are popsicle sticks glued together. And again, you have a whole different bed. So that's what I was saying. It's a universal room. We can make this into anything. Um, this could be this could be dirty clothes hamper if you wanted to take the plastic bag out. And put it up against the wall. This is actually a bamboo or yeah I think a bamboo. I don't know it's um, a blind sample like these would be blinds that would hang on the wall in real life and then I just huh, there's some champagne we'll put it on the on the coffee table. It's going to be an amorous evening. So anyhow, and then this was a doggy bag 
and I just kind of, oops, sorry, this is a doggy bag, just kind of glued together and stuck down in here. And I had actually put this in a kitchen scene, and this was a trash can. This is a trash can in my beach bungalow. And like I said, if you go back through my my um, playlist and you see a tour of my builds, you'll see this. And I'm not sure if I did, excuse me, a video on how I built that. Not sure. Okay, so next up, let's do, and we'll, we'll, whatever it is we put in here, we will make together, but let's move in an old style, old style living room. Now, what we would do is not have a teal green carpet with a velvet red couch but we're just we're just um, dressing up through you know we're just making it oh, I probably should bring this down here you can play chess <clears throat> and these are this is a magnetic chess game and this was given to me but you got silver and gold and these look to be like earring backs on a metal a metal um, a magnetic bottom covered with a piece of paper that has the, the chess or the checkerboard on it and it's a little bit warped but it is old and then it goes on the little table and the little table has a built-in drawer and these are kits these are all kits that was put together this is old school old school um, furniture these are kits you can see the glue you can see where they were glued together but anyhow these were kits and they were all put together by somebody other than myself and so now you can sit on the couch you've got a fireplace let's go down you have a fireplace you have a couch you have an area to play chess and entertain one another um, a coffee table maybe on that side Um, here's another board game, but it's on a wine, a rolling wine cart. So maybe that would be over here. Um, let's, let's say whoever lives here is working on the dollhouse. And maybe that's what they have up here. Gosh, I just squished something there. And even on the inside of this, as you can see, this was just fully decorated. I need to re-glue like some of the pieces. But yeah, this was an actual, this was pieces put together. Like this was a kit, homemade, that was put together. And you can see the wallpapers peeling, but this is probably... Um, 30, 50, 50, 50 something years old. <clears throat> this was, came from a 19, 1970s house. Okay, so you see, um, this is what I take, took off there. It was the porch. So I'll need to fix that. I will need to fix that. Okay, so, um, and maybe in the opposite corner they have the grandfather clock and it is up against that wall or maybe maybe that center of the room 
and the grandfather clock is closer to the edge of the room. So, anyhow, um, again, I would not have chosen the <clears throat> teal green carpet, but look, I mean, maybe you find these pieces on sale, um, eBay, um, Marketplace, or wherever. Let's see, we would have, actually, we would have somebody observing. We would have the matching chairs across from each other and probably somebody observing. But quickly enough, I mean, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven pieces of furniture, and you've now filled this room. And all you really have to do at this point is put up some pictures and you have a dressed room now our stuff will probably <clears throat> that's a, sorry about how far this is from the wall but it's, it's kind of um, you can see the cardboard through because I just painted it but like I said this is our universal room and we're going to concentrate on these pieces and how we get these pieces made. So on here, this is not, this is just angled. You know, this is piece. This would be pieces of cardboard angled, piece of cardboard. This would be um, could be a piece of cardboard, followed by um, dowels or toothpicks or what have you. And then this, of course, this bottom piece would be cardboard, and this would be also cardboard. And then this guy. <clears throat> these um, columns we would make with um, homemade beads like you would you would wrap the cardboard it would be a bead but you would just make it that you know roll it up to be this shape and then you'd add these extras um, this pipe this part might not be as easy to make but it's doable and then of course your side pieces and your corbels and then the back would just be a solid piece of cardboard so you've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve maybe sixteen pieces of cardboard and you could get this made and then of course the clock even more simple to make you can download the clock face and then you just basically put it together and then you could put stuff inside here so none of this is difficult the easiest of all of this believe it or not would be the dollhouse um, like I said I got to be more ginger with this this is getting so old but this this is easily made um, the little windows probably oops, sorry out of frame the little windows are probably the hardest but you could do it I mean you could do it with cardboard and a set of tweezers all right guys so what we have to look forward to will we use these pieces of furniture um, no but we'll make some that look like those pieces of furniture and then I have some more modern <clears throat> what I did with the chair I to put the chair back but I do have some modern furniture so maybe the old style isn't your cup of tea but then again like I said that's easily done this is one piece this is one piece you could make that two pieces though and then I have actually have the patterns for all of these pieces and those are wooden beads for the bottom so guys it's not hard um, I know it looks hard and it and depending on the amount of work you want to put into it if, if it's just a basic little diorama you're doing you wouldn't you wouldn't maybe maybe wouldn't put that much work into it but maybe you want to so 
like I said, this stuff, the wheels, um, might be a little more difficult to make, but it's all doable. You know, just, you got to have the tools for it. Um, hinges, we could make homemade. We know how to do those. And so, yeah, that would, that's, that's all possible. All right, guys, I'm going to close off here and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.